The boxes upon boxes, it almost feels insurmountable. Like, where do you start? Where do you start? Like, it just keeps going. It's like space balls. Like, da na da na That's a lot in there. And it's a couple rows deep. So maybe I start with that because I know the shelf behind it is going to be the Black Series display shelf. One thing I'm going to keep in mind is these Star Wars Clone Wars retro cards. I do want to have them featured uh, front facing on a shelf. As I put uh, these box figures up on this shelf, um, I'm going to slide these in uh, throughout. When I said you're not going to believe how many figures this box holds, I really meant it. I'm going to lift up these first two rows which contain the modern Black Series box designs and then it's going to reveal all the black and red boxes. I think I'm going to start with them and put them up on the top shelf and then we'll work in uh, the modern design boxes from there. See man, I told you. <laughs> I wasn't kidding about how many Black Series figures. I began sorting the modern boxes into their waves. So you have Bad Batch, Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Obi-Wan. My intention is to keep and display them together on each bookshelf. Shadow puppets. Next step is we're going to put out all the old style red and black boxes. We're going to then take them, sort them by number, and then throw them up in the top shelf. We're going to move all the remaining old style boxes and then put them up in numerical order. Now that I have the old style boxes out, I'm not sure if I want them to be up in the top row. Uh, I'm a little bit taller, so that top row is my exact eyesight when uh, I duck under the uh, vents here and I get to this little space here when I can stand. I think I appreciate the art on the new style of boxes more than the red and black. I'm gonna pivot, call an audible, and uh, figure out how to sort uh, all of those new boxes. This is a daunting project, but I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying watching it. Let's get these boxes sorted into their waves. But I had all the modern black series boxes sorted, and then there was a twinkle in my eye. There were 18 figures hiding in that shelf. Right. Let's get them sorted with the rest of the group. Playing the sorting hat was fun. I'm going to walk you through all my different piles here. We have Rebels, Gaming Greats, Return of the Jedi figures. I paired Obi-Wan and Darth Vader together, even though that is the Vader from Empire Strikes Back, but I thought these would look cool being front facing on one of the Detoff shelves. And then here are Mandalorian figures that I still have in box. Clone Wars figures that I still have in box. All my Bad Batch figures are in box except for two, the Rex and uh, the Clone Trooper. What I need to do is figure out what figures I want to be front facing in the display. Each shelf can fit two Black Series boxes front facing, or you can have two front facing, and then if you wanted to slide a third one in between them, so that you could have the art displayed, you could do that as well. So I know for sure I want to have Vader and Obi-Wan paired, even though they're not in the same wave. Now I just have to pick out what other figures still in box I want to pair together and then take waves like this where they're not in box and I'm just going to put them in the back for storage. I was able to fit six Black Series figures in a row on this shelf. Now I'm going to file them in the rest of the way in order that I have the wave 11, 12, number 13, but I still have three slots left, so I'll fill that in with another wave, but what's really cool is there's enough space here where I could put a whole front-facing wave of figures, or I could line up two figures to be front-facing. So I could fit 18 total if I put them in like this, or if I just have the two that I want to display facing front, I'd be able to fit 14 total. Toy Gons were kind to me on this one. I have nine open spots left for that one shelf, and I have nine Mandalorian inbox figures, which is awesome because now this entire shelf becomes Mandalorian Black Series figures. These figures are still in card, so I will put them in in order as well. And then the rest of these will be in order, but they will face outward. So once I get settled and I put lights in, I'm gonna pull everything out and get everything you know, really tightened up. So the ultimate question will be at that point is, 
do I want these to be in order or do I want to display like my most favorite figures art facing forward? But for right now in the short term, uh, these will all face forward. And what's really cool is, uh, is this is a deluxe box and it still fits. I'm really impressed, man. One shelf, one shelf, 18 Black Series figures. This shelf, my goal will be to have figures facing front instead of the side art facing front. And then maybe I could do it like every other and uh, see how that looks. Next group will be Rebels, but these are all opened up. Perfect, man. All six figures that I have unboxed from the Wave lined up with the side art. Let's pick the next six figures to line up with them. As it was meant to be, I have six unboxed figures from Return of the Jedi. So let's line them up in order, starting with number one, and then go from there. Do I want to put six more like I have here, or do I go with my first instinct and have two inbox figures facing out? And I think I'm going to try that there. But now I'm wondering, do I keep something special like this Return of the Jedi set here, or do I keep going with the figures in the wave? Or do I keep this here to break it up and then keep moving the figures that way? Let's try this out. Put these box figures like this facing front. Really appreciate the art. And then I have enough room. Oh man, I could even put another figure in between them. All right, let me pick a second figure because I'm trying to maximize the display and then this will come out to the edge. Yeah, let's make sure. There's definitely enough room, right? Oh, dude, totally. All right, let's pick a second box to put in that place. Let's experiment and see how this looks. The true Sith mastermind, Jar Jar Binks. Put Crimson Empire in front. Then we'll take Jackson, put him behind Darth Maul, and we should have enough room. We'll put Vader in front of Crimson Empire. Kenobi! In front of Maul. And then that leaves me space here where I can angle one more box out uh, so we can see the side art. Next group will be the Bad Batch. Put in the empties first. Next up are all the ones I still have in box, which is every figure from this wave except for those two. Don't judge. I'm just keeping these in box. And then Clone Wars figures. All right, we'll throw in the empties first and then the rest of the box figures. What's really cool about the shelf is its depth and width for Black Series figures. I'm already two rows deep at six across with 12 fig figures in. I could do another row six, making it 18, or I could do two rows of three for another six, totaling it up to 18, and then have uh, several of the figures facing forward and get to enjoy them that way. These are the two figures I wanna have facing forward. Ahsoka and then the Ahsoka Trooper and then look at this I got this nice alley wave to slide a figure in sideways and if you're gonna have a Clone Wars display you got to have the man behind the Clone Wars Trapper Wolf uh, in between these two figures I love how that turned out that's really cool really really cool all right let's check out how it's coming together Clone Wars Bad Batch something special this is the current placeholder got kenobi invader facing front and then all the way down here you just have the side art of the cards i really like it i like the the dichotomy of it and and how it's coming together all right let's get this final top shelf i just realized i forgot wrecker but i'm gonna gently lay him just right here on top for now he's included in the display and we'll have to figure it out later i just love filoni right next to the clone wars figures get off with some gaming greats figures this is gonna be some of the randoms that are left. Got an inbox Umber Trooper to go with the other gaming greats. We have this Sithy looking uh, person from which looks like uh, Imperial Propaganda. I'm glad we have extra space here because we do have more figures to open and I'm guessing we're gonna buy a few more in the future, but uh, we have some deluxe boxes that are left over. Uh, why don't we slide those in now? Actually, I can, why don't we just enjoy these? like this for right now, and uh, we'll keep adding figures as we open them. I spoke too soon. We have multiple deluxe boxes here that need to be accounted for. I like it, man. I like how it looks like a library of books, and even though they're deluxe, they just hang over the edge by a smidge. I think the top row came together nicely. All right, let's get to work on all those red and black boxes. First group is in. Oh, it just feels so good organizing how it's coming together. We'll start out with the six across look, just how we did on the shelf above. Last numbered figure that's unboxed. 
I'm going to throw in a wild card here. This is a carbonized blue Darth Vader, which is a stealthily amazing figure. I take it back. I found a striped Zuckus. He'll go in there, and we'll save this beauty for another section. Keeping the same pattern that we did above, these figures will be forward-facing, highlighted by two of my favorite figures, just because I bought them at Galaxy's Edge on a family vacation. You know, let's try to wedge this Force Ghost Yoda in between there. I like how it breaks up the color between the two of them. I'm gonna keep the tradition as I did on the row above. We're gonna keep that center slot open for something special that's yet to be determined. Let's go tackle the two remaining slots on the right. Look at me, I already found two more. How appropriate, blue and black box, Darth Vader. So I'm gonna move this over and display Darth Vader. I also found the blue and black uh, Han Solo and Stormtrooper disguise. So I'm gonna find a nice spot to display that as well. Wow, what a difference that makes already. All those were bunched up in cardboard boxes or in piles of shame. Now it looks nice and organized and I can enjoy a lot of the figures. Like it's so, I could see them and I can enjoy them. Such a huge upgrade to the nerdery already. This is a nice start, but once I put lights in and redo it, those carded figures are probably gonna take a little bit more prominence on this display. I've carded Obi-Wan. Uh, they, they're so wide, they don't exactly fit in side to side, but if I angle them, you can enjoy uh, both those together. And then I've carded Echo, and I'm just gonna take that and move him in the display next door. And now we get to enjoy some of my carded figures. I'm gonna slide this Power of the Force Greedo right in next to Echo. Layer in Empire Strikes Back retro card. This poor thing has got busted up, but I still can't bring myself to open it. Really, really cool uh, carded figures. Use this shelf below for some credit collection figures. Shelf next door is gonna have Phantom Menace retro cards. I have Mace Windu and Qui-Gon up front and center. Dude, that looks really cool together. You got Phantom Menace, like foil cards, credit collection cards to the right, and then you look up top and you got Empire Strikes Back retro cards as well. This is a really neat corner. As we've been doing, the middle all the way down is something special, so I'm just gonna throw this Gamorrean guard in here for right now, but the major something special is my carded Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, Kenner retro figure.